Welcome everyone, to a compelling journey through the life and untimely demise of one of rock's most influential figures, Keith Ralph. From a founding member of iconic band The Yardbirds, to the progressive rock of Renaissance, his groundbreaking contributions to music will never be forgotten. So let's dive in. Keith Ralph born William Keith Ralph on the 22nd of March 1943 in Richmond, England, to parents William Ralph, a builder, and Elsie Ralph, a stay-at-home mother. He had a younger sister Jane, who also a singer, would later join him in band Renaissance. In the summer of 1956, Keith Ralph embarked on his musical journey, showcasing his skills as a singer, guitarist, and harmonica player in various bands. He initially joined the Metropolitan Blues Quartet, alongside bass guitarist Paul Samuel Smith, laying the foundation for what would become one of England's most innovative rock bands. After being joined by Chris Dredger, Jim McCarty, and Top Topham, performing at Kingston Art School in late May 1963, as a backup band for Cyril Davies, the group evolved into the Yardbirds. The Yardbirds gained prominence on the burgeoning British rhythm and blues scene when they became the house band at the Crawdaddy Club in Richmond, succeeding the Rolling Stones. Drawing inspiration from the Chicago blues, their repertoire caught the attention of Crawdaddy Club impresario Giorgio Gomelski, who became their manager and first record producer. Signed to EMI's Columbia label in February 1964, the band underwent lineup changes, with Eric Clapton replacing original lead guitarist Top Topham in October 1963. Clapton departed in 1965, shortly after the success of their hit song, For Your Love, which topped the charts in the UK and Canada and reached number 6 in the US. Subsequent guitarists Jeff Beck in 1965 and Jimmy Page in 1966 joined the band, further solidifying the band's legacy. Ralph played a significant role in shaping the original sound of the Yardbirds, co-writing many of their iconic songs such as, Shapes of Things, I Ain't Done Wrong, Over Under Sideways Down, and, Happenings Ten Years Time Ago. As the 60s progressed, Ralph displayed a growing interest in acoustic and folk music, exemplified by tracks like, Only the Black Rose. He also performed an early rendition of, Dazed and Confused, during live Yardbirds concerts, inspired by musician Jake Holmes, a song later famously recorded by Led Zeppelin, the band that would eventually emerge from the Yardbirds. Ralph's debut solo single, Mr. Zero, made its mark on the UK singles chart, peaking at number 50 in May 1966. Following the dissolution of the Yardbirds in July 1968, Ralph collaborated with fellow bandmate Jim McCarty to form the acoustic duo, Together. Together, ventured into movie soundtracks before expanding their lineup to include John Hawken, Louis Kenamo, and Ralph's sister, Jane Ralph. Together, they forged the progressive rock band Renaissance. Jane Ralph, known for her exceptional vocals, was rumored to have lent her voice to TV commercial jingles in the US before joining the band. During their time with Renaissance, Ralph and his bandmates embarked on extensive tours and released two remarkable albums, Renaissance in 1969 and Illusion in 1971. However, the group disbanded gradually over a period of about three months, with the original members departing one by one. Jeffrey and Annie Haslam then took the helm, steering the band in a new direction. Despite the changes, their rendition of Renaissance gained significant traction, perhaps even surpassing the popularity of the original lineup. The decision to retain the band name was likely aimed at securing future bookings. Following his departure from Renaissance in 1970, Ralph delved into producing other artists, including Steam Hammer, folk rock band Hunter Musket, acoustic world music group Amber, psychedelic band Saturnalia, and blues rock band Medicine Head, where he also played bass guitar. In 1974, Ralph ventured into the realm of heavy rock by forming the group Armageddon. Their self-titled debut album, Armageddon, was recorded in England and released by A&M Records in the United States. The album's original liner notes dubbed them a supergroup, boasting a lineup that included drummer Bobby Caldwell and bassist Louis Kenamo. Still, despite this, the band failed to reach the same level of importance and popularity as his previous endeavors. Surmising the band's limited exposure, with only two live shows during their existence and no tours, likely contributed to reduced record sales and recognition. Personally, Ralph was married to South African April Liversidge on April 22, 1966, and they had two sons, Danny and Jason. Despite remaining active in music during the late 60s and 70s, Keith Ralph struggled with his health. He battled chronic asthma, which led to multiple hospitalizations and near-death experiences. Additionally, his habit of chain-smoking contributed to his diagnosis of emphysema. Despite his fame with the Yardbirds, Ralph faced financial struggles after leaving the band, particularly as the royalties from their recordings and his solo singles were sporadic. 
With two young sons to support, Ralph sought a balance between making music for income without extensive touring, allowing himself much needed personal time. Off stage, he was a private individual who preferred solitude, especially enjoying the company of his family and the tranquility of fishing away from crowds and noise. However, after a separation from his wife and worsening financial woes led him to reside in increasingly cramped living conditions during his final weeks. It appeared that he had been largely forgotten by the music industry, perhaps overshadowed by his past fame with the Yardbirds, leading to a sense of isolation and neglect. Regardless of his efforts to launch new projects, including the band Armageddon, he faced numerous obstacles such as lack of management, promotion, and record label interest. Still trying to start something new, on May 14, 1976, in his basement, plagued by poorly wired electrical devices and an ungrounded guitar, Ralph tragically met his untimely end. While practicing electric guitar, he suffered a fatal electric shock due to a wiring malfunction, resulting in heart failure. Tragically, his son discovered him the following day. He was only 33 years old. Ralph's pre-existing emphysema and asthma, compounded by medication use, likely contributed to his inability to survive the shock. At the time of his death, it was rumored Ralph was in the midst of reuniting the original members of the progressive rock band Renaissance, ultimately forming the group Illusion. He was later laid to rest in Richmond and East Sheen Cemetery, Greater London, England. And there you have it. The extraordinary journey of one of rock's most iconic musicians, Keith Ralph. Though his life was marked by both triumph and tragedy, his contributions to rock and roll will forever be remembered. Thank you for joining us, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content just like this. Take care and bye for now.